Some of the laws that protect consumers are as old as your teacher, or even older, so the government has decided to give them a makeover. The law, that is, not your teacher. On the 1st of October 2015, over 61 pieces of consumer legislation will be merged into one, and this shiny new piece of law is called the Consumer Rights Act 2015. This law protects you when you buy goods and services, and now that the law has finally caught up with the 21st century, it also protects you when you buy digital content, such as downloaded music, games and phone apps. In this first part, we look at the law on goods. Some of the really important things from the old laws have stayed the same. So the law still says that anything that you buy must be of satisfactory quality, fit for purpose and match the description. If not, you may be entitled to a repair, a replacement or a refund. Now picture the scene. You buy a brand new pair of trainers and three weeks later you notice the stitching on one of them is coming undone. They're a top brand and you pay big money for them so obviously you're a bit miffed. Under the old law you could complain to the trader within a reasonable time and ask for your money back. But there was no definition of what a reasonable time meant. A few days, a week, a few weeks. Now the law gives you 30 days to reject. Simples. Note to self, do not use, wear, install, try to repair a faulty item once you notice the problem. The sooner you let the trader know, the better. Remember, these laws only apply to goods that have something wrong with them. They don't cover you if you just changed your mind. You damage the item yourself by not following the care instructions. You used the product for the wrong purpose. The problem was pointed out to you before you bought it, or the problem's just down to normal wear or tear or accidental damage. If it's been longer than 30 days, you can still complain to a trader, but you may not get all your money back. Instead, you might get a partial refund, or a repair, or a replacement. The trader can decide which is the most cost-effective solution. However, here's where the new laws give you extra protection. There's a one strike and you're out type of thing where if the first repair doesn't work or the replacement also has problems, you don't have to keep getting it fixed or replaced. You can move straight to getting a price reduction. Just so you know, as with the old laws, the new laws say that you have up to six years to complain about a problem with goods that you've bought if it's reasonable to expect the goods to last that long. So, if a laptop you bought develops a fault after three years, you can still go back to the trader. Don't be put off if the warranty period ran out after the first year. This doesn't affect your consumer rights. However, if you complain about a favourite t-shirt you bought five years ago, looking a bit tatty and faded, you may be pushing your luck. So, the law has woken up to the fact that there's these newfangled digital things and consumers need protection when we buy them. Previously, if you downloaded a phone app that kept freezing your whole phone, the law really didn't know how to deal with the problem. Unlike faulty trainers, it's a bit harder to deal with what's called intangible goods. Trainers you can put in the shoebox and take back to the shop, but you can't do that with a phone app or a ringtone. Now the new law makes it clear that just like goods, digital purchases must still be of satisfactory quality, fit for purpose and match the description. If not, you have exactly the same rights as you did with faulty trainers. So a refund, partial refund, repair or replacement, depending on the circumstances. What's more, if something you've downloaded to your tablet, phone or other device causes a fault or corrupts other content, you may be entitled to a repair or compensation. The last type of sales contract is for services. This could be anything from a pet groomer to a sports physio. The law says that any service you pay for must be carried out with reasonable care and skill, at a reasonable cost, and within reasonable time. So, if a hairdresser burns your head and spills dye on you, either you've done something really bad to upset them, or they've not demonstrated reasonable care and skill. What's new for services is that the law now says that if there's been a failure in that service, the trader must put things right either by performing the service again, only better this time obviously, or giving you a price reduction. If they're repeating the service, this has to be done at no cost to you, within a reasonable time and without causing significant inconvenience. Most purchases go well and most traders want you to be happy with what you've bought and the customer care that you're given. 
But if a problem does happen, you're ready to stand up for your consumer rights. Happy shopping.